Right, so, welcome back, this is part five, and the last and final part actually, so, yeah, so far we've got all these parts done, we've got the pommel done, uh, we've got this done, we've got that done as well, which is just wonderful, all of it's together, we just need to do the emitter. So, I am going to measure out what we need, and then we'll get started on cutting it, so I'll speed one moment. Right, so... We've got this here, this is going to go over that, so it's going to go in there. And typically, from the designs I've seen, I might actually just do a step two here, and then run the, because it's going to have the blade and everything else in it, so I might run it from there all the way to about there, that's as far as I can really go without it being looking a bit too silly and that takes it just over 12 inches so that's not bad um, we will run this over it so that goes from here to there and then the bigger piece of metal will go over this as well help if I mark the right thing okay so, next thing, we're going to go to the meter saw and do these. Excellent.
Right, so we've got the outer part done, we've got the inner part done for it, and they fit together really well, so I'm very happy. We're going to have to do this part because this will go on top of here and push fit on. So that'll push fit on there. But we have to fit in a one inch blade. Now that's too big for the one inch blade. This is what I normally use for a one inch blade. And as you can see, it's very loose in there. So I'm thinking I might mill out the one inch amount from here. Because that fits in really nicely. And also by doing that, the benefit is it's got all that space to hold on to. It just makes the whole thing way, way more secure. So I think that's the way to go. So back to the lathe. Okay guys, so we have the main piece for the parts for the pummel done, so it'll look like this. First thing we have to do is get this part on here. Let's just check the blade. So this is just a bit of a blade that I have around. Yeah, per perfect fit. No wobble, exactly right, beautiful. Uh, bit of oil in here which is bleh. What's that like now? Oh, that's that's just beautiful. Right. Okay, we're gonna have to tap that on with the hammer. Let's go over to the hammer place. Okay. It doesn't even need a rivet guys, it doesn't need a rivet, it is on, it is never coming off. Now I've got all that space for a blade and the electronics. Mwah! Beautiful. Right, the only thing left to do now is to put on the outer shell of this. Which is this bit here. And it's finished. So, could possibly get away with this being a bit shorter. I don't know. Anyway, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to finish it off that way. Right guys, so 
we have it all together it is basically finished the only thing left to do for this is I need to put a hole in here so I can put a thread through and that'll lock the blade in place uh, oh, I need to just deburr this end like so right I'll just quickly do this now and then it is finished and uh, now let's thread it and we're basically finished thank god it's been a long long weekend doing this So one thing I'd like to ask guys is if you, uh, if this is too long or if you think I should do these sections of the build quicker, speed up through things, uh, things like that, uh, by all means, you know, leave your comments. How would you like me to do these videos in future? Do you want to be a lot quicker? Do you want to have the whole thing in 30 minutes? I mean, I know this is the part five of the whole thing. Uh, it's just taken a long time to do. Uh, me personally, I think showing you the whole thing from start to finish um, and talking through what we're doing is a much better way of doing things. Considering I'm the only person I think or know of that's actually doing a lightsaber build in metal from scratch to the very end so that we end up with Something as gorgeous as this is pretty unique and I would assume, personally for me, you want to know all about it. There we are. The very next thing, weathering it. But yeah, I am very very happy with this. I think I might make this fractionally smaller, maybe about that length. But considering this is the very first time I made it, no plans just a drawing online, that or picture online of Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and for me to take that and bring out this I'm pretty impressed very happy I love this bit it's brilliant feels good solid super strong this ain't ever gonna break very happy very happy so yeah I'll uh, come back in a second with it weathered See you soon. Hello, this is the very end. I said I'd be back with the finished thing. And here it is. This is the hilt, completely finished and weathered and aged. And I think it has come out fantastic. It looks so good. I might have to twist it a little bit, but it just looks brilliant. I'm so, so happy. For the very first time that I've ever done this, and this can hold up to dueling. That's not an issue for me. I, I've, I am so confident you could duel with this. I wouldn't recommend it, because the blade's only going to be in for maybe an inch. That's all the blade's going to get, because you've only got that much space inside, but it's just so nice. It is such a nice hilt. And I can't believe how long it's taken me to actually finally do one. And these ribs feel great. Really, really happy. Really, really glad I made it. I don't think it'll ever be one I sell on my website. Uh, maybe I should do it, give it away as a competition. You know, if we get to 500 subs and the winner could get one of these. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm doing that. I'm just speaking out loud. But yeah, uh, it'd be nice if I could find material that was bigger than this. So I could have a bigger pommel. I just, at the moment, I don't have that resource. Um, I don't have the ability to see and, see, see and see things so but yeah it's just it's just such a nice saber so happy with how it's turned out so I hope you have enjoyed I know it's been long I know it's five parts um, if there's a way you'd like me to do these or a way you prefer that I do these videos put a comment in below um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I've had a great time uh, recording this process, showing you how I do these things, proving to all the naysayers that they are handmade from scratch. Um, 
<laughs> but yeah, really, really happy. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will be having some more come out in the near future. I've got two daggers, lightsaber daggers, a customer's asked me to do. So they will be coming out in the future as well. So stay tuned, subscribe, and there'll be more content to follow. Cheers, guys. See you later.